stop, stop failing. Failure is, failure is not an option. Not Just give up already. Stop, stop trying. There's, There's always no going to be someone better than you. Failure is permanent. Failing is the end. The next time someone is deemed a complete failure, consider congratulating them. Failing may be the most valuable trait of the 21st century workforce. Grade school kids see their lives unraveling if they don't make it into the gifted program. High school students are terrorized by test scores and college acceptances. And college graduates drift through entry-level positions, terrified of saying or doing the wrong thing. This fear feeds an outdated business model that breeds micromanagement and magnifies inconsequential mistakes. In the dynamic workplace, making mistakes is part of that 99% perspiration that Thomas Edison preached as he tinkered away in Menlo Park. Drucker asserted, the better a person is, the more mistakes he will make, for the more new things he will try. It's time to reclaim failure, shift failure from a judgment, and instead celebrate it as a crucial step towards innovation and change. Where can we find models that successfully integrate failure into their culture? The marriage of the arts and sciences, the gaming industry that exemplifies resilience. Video games begin at zero, the academic equivalent of a fail. Players build experience and level up according to each achievement or discovery. What does this look like for the manager? Hire the visionary. Hire people who have failed and know how to rebound. Treat failure as a crisis that can inspire a sense of urgency. Use failure to siphon through ideas. Trust technology and collaborative cognition to iterate and improve. And always fail forward. Both artists and scientists are no strangers to failure. The brilliant ones even harness it. The artist drafts incessantly before putting paint to canvas. And the scientist conducts experiments to rule out erroneous hypotheses. While these drafts and experiments are de facto failures, they do not have that stigma. Instead, they're labeled milestones. Being paralyzed by the fear of failure is the most expensive mistake an organization can make. Workspaces without room for failure and therein future success will inevitably become irrelevant. So how do we design this dynamic workplace conducive to failure and hence favorable to innovation? Well, we'd better get busy failing to figure it out. So go forth and fail spectacularly.